This is the first video from series of how to process a jewelry with NeuroViz AI. I will explain the difference between Jewelry Retoucher Pro and uh, Jewelry Retoucher. Heavy retouching or precision retouching. There are quite serious differences between these two applications and it's very important for you to understand where to use each of these. Heavy Retoucher uses specific AI model that can completely redraw the image and can improve even very, very bad photos. However, it comes with the cost and the cost that the jewelry may look different. If your jewelry piece is not common, if it's unusual shape, it's not gonna work well with heavy retouch. On other side, if your jewelry is well done, relatively well photographed and uh, doesn't have uh, areas that is kind of almost unrecognizable, this is the best option. And especially if the jewelry is unusual shape. Let me show you on examples. Let's open jewelry retoucher. So heavy retouching. First, we have this beautiful, beautiful ring, uh, but it's it's very unusual. This is right. Uh, it's like an art, uh, very artistic ring. And photography wise, it's done relatively well. It's not retouched. It uh, looks like uh, out of the camera. However, the lighting and everything is relatively good. There are lots of blemishes and stuff, but again, it's done relatively well. Jewelry retoucher, heavy retouch for jewelry. I'm not going to uh, do any custom instructions. It knows how to retouch jewelry, so you don't need to tell uh, it like uh, make metal shiny and you know do other stuff. No, you only might tell something that is unusual, um, something very specific to this particular jewelry piece that retoucher won't know. It's rare station. It's rare, but let's generate. Meanwhile. You don't need to wait when it's done, so we can go to once it's started. You can go back and let's load the same image into Jewelry Retoucher Pro, Precision, Re Precision Retouch, okay? Now both images will be under my gallery when it's done. So this is our two images. This is the first one, that is Jewelry Retoucher, Heavy Retouching, and this is another one, which is Precision Retouch. So let's compare, let's download both of them. First, let's see what heavy retouching did to this. It looks beautiful. Everything is super nice and shiny. However, if you look at some specific details, you will see discrepancy. If you look at these clear gemstones, they position differently than on the original image. If you look at, well, many places, you will see some discrepancy. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not especially in areas where it's it was not clear however look at this all in focus all looks good but at the cost of not being exactly the same jewelry which is not good of course it's never good so for this type of jewelry the retoucher heavy retoucher is not a good idea if you look at the precision precision retouching you will see that some of the area is still out of the focus same as on the original image However, it's retouched and all the details, everything is there. Everything is preserved. This is the best what AI can do. And again, this is quite uh, unusual jewelry piece. But for this, it's definitely worse to use precision retoucher. Now, let's go back and use another case. This ring, it's a very bad photo, very, very bad photo. Uh, it's done outdoors, uh, out of focus and look completely unprofessional. However, the ring is quite usual shape. It's just a rectangular uh, top and then the normal rings with uh, gemstones. So for this one, it might be better to use heavy retoucher, but let's use both and compare. I'm loading it here and without any instructions, this is heavy retouch, let it run. And I go back and do the same ring with Retoucher Pro with Precision Retouch. And run. Okay, this is the result from Precision. As you can see, the ring looks exactly the same. It even did uh, kind of um, not soft light. So it, it has, uh, you know, the shadow underneath it, uh, which not supposed to be. But it tried to preserve the original image because it was under uh, actual sun and it was really sharp... Um, shadow underneath it. However, if you look closer, there are, well, the gemstone is not polished as good as it should be, right? 
it has some dust at perfection, which usually should be cleaned uh, by professional retouching. So for this type of ring, the precision may be not a good choice, not the best. Let's go to my gallery and see the previous generation. This one is what heavy retouching did it. Look at this. It looks beautiful. It's just like, wow. It was done, you know, on the table, on this uh, matte table. And it has all the details. Again, why? Because the ring is, uh, it looks usual. So it, it will be processed correctly with this heavy retouching. Plus the source image is really, really bad. Let's do another example. There is one more ring. It's done in the studio. However, the lighting was really bad. Lighting was really bad and it, 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 the photographer didn't use diffuser and it's like, it's too sharp light for this and this is why it's not good. However, the shape of the ring is quite common. Instead of a rectangular, uh, it's like a drop uh, shape. The pier, I think it's called, right? The faucet in and the shape of this uh, probably diamond which tells me, and after this video you'll know it as well, it's probably a good idea to run it through a heavy retoucher. So heavy retouch for this ring. Let's run it and let's do the same for the precision retouch. Same ring, no prompt, precision retouch. Okay, now let's open my gallery and see. This is the ring retouched by heavy retouching. Look at this, it looks just beautiful. It's almost like CGI rendering, but considering how bad was the source photo, I think this is a good result. Again, it may look slightly different from the source. However, when source is really bad, this is the only choice. If you look at the precision retouching, you will see that gemstone is not as polished as on the previous image. However, there is improvements. It looks better. Which one works best for you, you decide, but you, you should understand the difference. Let's do the last example. There is another ring, this one, for example. What do you think, what kind of application will do the best job for this ring? I'll tell you. The lighting here is not so bad, okay? It's done in the studio, it's not really bright. However, if you look, uh, there are all details are visible and uh, well, the, it's really old ring, uh, lots of scratches and the most important, the shape of this ring is, I wouldn't say it's usual shape. This area, that's not what I usually see on the rings. Usually it's just one line of gemstone. There are two lines. So let's see. Let's open it on heavy retoucher, jewelry retoucher, and go back and do the same ring on jewelry retoucher pro precision retouch. So I'm adding it here and generate. This is the result. As you can see, the shape is preserved beautifully. The metal is polished. However, there are some areas, if you look here, so there are some areas where it was not retouched as good as it could be, right? This is the cost of precision. The rest is good and metal looks good. I would say that this ring is good with Jewelry Toucher Pro. But let's go back and see how it looked like uh, with our heavy retoucher. It looked beautiful, it looked polished, it looked almost like CGI. However, we lost some of the feature of this ring. It's not the same ring. Why? Because it's not a common ring. And the last example, those earrings. Again, this is a very small, very bad quality image. It just not enough pixels. I think it's around 500 pixels, which is never good for the retouching. It should be at least 1000 pixels. But we can try to run it. The shape, I wouldn't say much uncommon, but we'll see. Let's run it through the heavy retouch and do the same with precision retouch. Okay, this is precision retouch. If we compare it to the original image, let's go and see. The original image was this, and I think it did really good job. Well, especially looking at this, there is almost invisible what it is, but I think it did well, right? However, it didn't retouch it as clean as it could be. Well, it has, you know, some lots of residue, well, some bad metal, well, what it is. However, everything is preserved and uh, looks actually good. Let's go back to my gallery and see the previous generation with heavy retouch. This is our heavy retouch. You see that, well, it looks good. It looks better than the previous one that we looked at, right? Uh, with the precision. Probably for this is not needed precision. 
let's compare them. So this is the source on the right, this is the result on the left. I would say that the result is way better and it's actually way better than precision retouch. The heavy retouch did good job here. Why? Because the source was really blurry and very bad quality. So it did a better job. So what to do next? With the rings and the other jewelry that we just retouched, we can use either smart photo generator or styled photo generator to put them into some environment to make uh, photos that uh, looks well great and professionally done. My favorite is styled photo generator v2 because it's not prompt based. There is a prompt as well, but not needed. Uh, it takes a photo, other photo, other image as the reference and generate something similar. So I'll show you. Uh, let's open it. It takes two photos and I'm going to load one of our bad rings that was processed uh, through heavy retoucher, right? This ring. And then instead of thinking, you know, what kind of environment, uh, where I want to place it, I can just find something uh, that look similar. For example, this image, okay? This is the image uh, just from Pinterest and uh, well, it looks cool for jewelry, you know, this type of setup. And aspect ratio, well, we can choose any, let's choose one to one. You don't need to put prompt. This is, this is your prompt, the image is the prompt. And you just generate. Here is the result. The ring looks great. And look at this creation. It's done the way that it, uh, how it will look when it's actually placed on this uh, little pedestal, uh, this green one. Look, there is green reflections, okay? Green reflections uh, where it needs to be. It also added a little bit of color uh, for the gemstone, let's say diamond. So it's it's not just replacing the ground, it's actually fitting the subject. Uh, there is another version of this, uh, this one. It's, it was a different aspect ratio, as you can see, uh, it was uh, three by four and vertical, it fit uh, different, um, you know, different items, different background, but uh, the same, exactly the same image as a reference. So let's uh, generate one more. Oh, by the way, to generate another one, it's super easy. Uh, on my gallery, you go and click recreate. So it loads this. So instead of this, let's select, uh, for example, this one. Okay, another image just, and let's have uh, three by four. Uh, cool for social media. By the way, we add in uh, upscales. So you will have uh, at least 10 megapixel, 10, 15 megapixel. Okay, nice. Let's see. So this is the image. It's actual size, a little bit larger. Again, you see actual reflection from this stone. And uh, well, this is reflection from this flower. Uh, this is reflection of on this flower where it's supposed to be. I don't know. For me, it's just a magic. It's simply magic. Let's uh, replace our ring, this one. Again, I'm choosing the retouched version, so uh, this is just the next step. And uh, we can generate uh, just the same. Uh, let's use the same. Wow. That's so cool. Let's open. Meanwhile, uh, let's uh, generate it, for example, on this background. And, uh, well, I'm going to choose another one, uh, another ring uh, that we just created. This one, okay, uh, that was done uh, with version two retoucher, precise, precision. Let's have it on this very bright, like a background. Uh, for the reference, you don't care about the subject. Uh, it's not going to take subject and not going to transfer it. It's only uh, kind of consider the environment. Okay, as you can see, all the features preserved, but the reflections and everything is right from the environment. I hope now you will have better understanding how to use AI Jewelry Retoucher Pro or AI Jewelry Retoucher. Heavy retouch or precision retouch. On the next video, I will explain what to do next with retouched images.